Africa. Yes, yes. Most of them were telling me, don't uh -huh. go. Yes. As a South uh -huh. African, what uh -huh. is the message for your fellow African brothers? Look, African Africa? brothers, we understand the situation that we have. Okay. We are disintegrated because of poverty. That's number one. We are disintegrated because our leaders are not leading us. So it's about time that we as citizens start to lead our leaders. That's the most important thing that we need to do. So we need to come together. This is the, a very young man with a very wonderful young lady here. They are leading our African leaders. They are, wow. they, they are basically taking us forward. That's why we're here. Well, man, this is my brother here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, I, I never knew a day would come, I'll find myself in South Africa. I never knew a day would come, I'll be living my best life in South Africa. I never knew a day would come, I will go to the southernmost of Africa, and I don't even want to go back home. I mean, we heard a lot of stories about South Africa, and uh, personally, that guy who promoted Africa in a positive light. It was a great challenge for me to take that step to visit a country like South Africa. I mean, if you even check my comment section the day I announced that I'm going to South Africa, everybody was like, don't go to South Africa. I'm not going to watch your videos again if you go to South Africa. They hate black people. They hate Africans. I was like, oh my goodness. Am I really ready for this? Personally, the videos that I saw about a xenophobia attack, I think I even did a video about the xenophobia attack in South Africa. If you don't know the meaning of xenophobia, it's the hatred towards a foreigner. Are you trying to tell me that because I'm from Ghana, I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner? Are you trying to tell me that I'm from Nigeria, when I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner in South Africa? Are you trying to tell me that I'm from Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mali, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, I go to South Africa, I'm a foreigner? I was super scared, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I've never been scared going to a country. I mean the first country that I was scared of going to was Nigeria and the second country is South Africa. But these two countries have actually proved me wrong. I was supposed to stay in Nigeria for two weeks, I ended up staying for what? one month and i was supposed to stay in south africa for two weeks and i think if i don't leave the country i'm gonna overstay because they didn't give me like 30 days visa they gave me only 18 days but hey i need to let you know that if you're watching this video if you're an african and you think that the entire south africans hate their fellow africans i'm here to tell you that it's not true. I mean, anytime I talk about these issues, people feel like I've been paid to say things like that. I went to Nigeria. I told you the same thing. That don't be scared going to Nigeria. Because the things that you see in the media, it's a different story altogether when you get into the country. I'm not saying that xenophobia doesn't exist in South Africa. I've experienced it, I mean, I experienced it just to talk about it. I don't know, like, this thing that happens to me, I get arrested everywhere I go to. I've been arrested in South Africa, too. I mean, the South Africa arrest was even a harass. But at the end of the day, the police told me that somebody gave them a phone call to come and pick me up because they thought I'd deal with one. I'm a fraud or a fraud guy or something. You know, when I posted on, um, on Instagram that I'm going to South Africa, these are the comments that I get. Bro, be careful when you go there. And the comment that really scared me was, South Africans are xenophobic. They are killing other black people over there. Please don't go there, period. I mean, <laughs> if you're a young guy like me and you read something like this, trust me, you'll be scared. I was so scared, I'm not gonna lie. But, since I'm on a journey to promote Africa in a positive light, I just had to go. Let me tell you what I did. I even sent um, the Tourism Board of South Africa messages. Like I emailed them, please, I'm coming to South Africa to promote South Africa. I would love to get security. I would love to get men. I didn't get any response because I don't think they see 
the impact that my videos are making they don't really care i mean i even went there personally i went to their office yet i didn't get respond it was so sad to feel like as an african coming to do something like this in africa because you know i just got tired of getting arrested getting deported so i wanted to go the right way sending emails to embassies and all that I sent an email to the High Commission. High Commission did not respond. I came to South Africa myself. I went to their tourism board. I didn't get any response from them. Yet, these things can never stop me. I mean, so many of you are even telling me that I do this because of money. Since I came to South Africa, let me tell you something. When I started talking about South Africa, all my videos about South Africa are demonetized, which means that all the videos that I'm making in South Africa are not monetized i'm not making money out of the videos that i'm doing in south africa because of the wet south africa youtube is limiting my ads on my videos so just to let you know that i love what i do and nothing can stop me from doing what i enjoy doing when i came to south africa trust me i mean people in south africa are the most friendly people i've ever met i admire <laughs> I don't know maybe because of my status but like people are offering their houses people are offering their cars i can't believe i'm with you eh? you uh, guys are the most amazing young people in africa oh, wow. i don't know how to put it guys i'm so emotional seeing you eh? shout out to mr lawrence he's taking me everywhere i go to without asking me a penny like somebody has to drove far away just to come and see me and i meet people in the street and i'm like i love you what am i like some of them even don't want to go and um let's forget about who i am but when i meet the local people i mean like when i went to soweto i mean i felt like i'm with my family dancing with people talking with people they didn't even ask me where you from they, they just wanna you know vibe with you and then the day i did this video what is so unique about South African women oh my goodness like I felt real love I feel like I don't know maybe it's something with their women because I feel like they they love people from other part of Africa like I, I just want to know this South African women date out of South Africa yes definitely we prefer to date outside of South Africa I mean, they, let me tell you something I think I met a South African girl who even told me that hey where are you from I said I'm from Ghana she said is that your girlfriend? I said, yeah, that's my girlfriend. I said, why do you have to come here with your girlfriend? Why do you have to come here with your girlfriend? I'm coming alone. I was like, wow. I mean, I feel like they are welcoming. They accept people. South Africa is an awesome, awesome country. And we love our brothers and sisters from all across Africa. South Africa is not perfect. If I should tell you, it's not a perfect place. I mean, no country on earth is perfect. But whenever you come here, be very careful that one i'm not gonna lie especially when you are in johannesburg because south africans came to me directly to tell me that hey bro this part that part that part don't pass there or when you are passing this place dress normal that's what i'm gonna tell you this is what south africans told me so i knew where i was going i know where i'm not supposed to pass but if you live in Pretoria, oh my goodness like i don't know this place is on another level i mean Pretoria. It's laid back, it's kind of calm, you go wherever you want to go to, you do whatever you want to do. Like, there's no restriction in Pretoria than in Johannesburg. I'm going to tell you that no one has paid me to say this. I'm really living my best life in South Africa. I, I might share my experience on how I got, um, how do you call it, how I got arrested in South Africa. What really happened that day, because I feel like I need to share light on that matter. I'm just tired of doing those videos, but I still have to share light on that matter. I don't know why always me. Why always me? Because I was with Elvis, I was with Trudy, but they just came for me alone. And more than 30 minutes wasting my time. South Africa is not perfect. I'm going to tell you that. Give South Africa a chance. I mean, give the people of South Africa a chance. Xenophobia is still going on. I, I, I mean, like not the way that we see it out there because i feel like it's just some areas that i see um yeah i mean i even talked to let me tell you something i talked to 
um, Nigerians, I talked to Ghanaians, I, I talked to Cameroonians living in here, and they told me that, hey, brother, if you want the real story about xenophobia, we, our brothers and sisters also play a part, because some of them just want to be rich, but that does not give you the chance to generalize that the entire West Africans or entire Nigerians are like this. From South Africa, wow, I'm a big follower of this guy, oh, eh? Miss Trudy Wadamaya, there's no video that I don't comment. Oh, I am wow. so in love with these people. Oh. The narrative in the youth is at its strong. It's very, very strong. We love you, South Africa loves everyone across Africa. We love Africans wherever, diaspora, wherever, the Caribbeans, America, Africans must stay together. And this is what's gonna make us the biggest race ever. Hala, that's what's up. <laughs> it's really nice meeting you. Man, I'm, this man, yo, yo, my man, you're doing so much great work, I'm telling you, eh? Wow. You are doing so much great work. I follow you, I, I don't watch TV by the way, but I'm on YouTube, right? Uh -huh. You guys are my television. Because you speak so much truth. Dr. Mumbi, I don't miss a show. Say hi to Dr. Dr. Mumbi. Dr. I'm your crush, by the way. I always am <laughs> your crush. I, I'm ready. <laughs> Dr. Mumbi, I'm your crush. I'm single. I'm waiting. Hi, your boy Kanye. That's what's up. <laughs> Dr. Mumbi, I South got, Africa. I go to your South African husband. Hala. That's what's up, eh? <laughs> Love you lots. You're doing, a, you're doing a wonderful job, Dr. Mumbi. I don't know how to thank you guys. I mean, we are really, mm. Africans are disunited. Yeah, exactly. But these platforms are really changing the narrative. I mean, I wanted to say something yes. because a lot of South Af a lot of Africans out mm. there, when I was coming to South Africa, yes, yes. most of them were telling me, don't uh -huh. go. Yes. As a South uh -huh. African, uh -huh. what is the message for your fellow African brothers? Look, and African Africa? brothers, we understand the situation that we have. Okay. We are disintegrated because of poverty. That's number one. We are disintegrated because our leaders are not leading us. So it's about time that we as citizens start to lead our leaders. That's the most important thing that we need to do. So we need to come together. This is the, a very young man with a very wonderful young lady here. They are leading our African leaders. They are, they are basically taking us forward. That's why we're here. Well, man, this is my brother here. <laughs> And by the way, I was in Rwanda last year. You're in I, don't, Rwanda? I was in Rwanda, uh, wow. Kigali. I spent about five days there. What a beautiful country. We like leaders like Paul Kagame, by the Paul way. Kagame. Yes, Hala. To the president of Rwanda, we really happy. Thank you. We also out there need to think that the people that are attacking doesn't generalize the entire people of South Africa. Don't hate a brother from South Africa. South Africans, don't hate a brother from another African country. Let's love lead. Let's love one another. Let's come together as one Africa because when we come together, we are stronger. When we come together, we are mighty. Let's unite as one Africa. My name is Mr. Ghana, baby. I have nothing else to say, but I want to tell you that I love you. Deep down my heart, I really adore you. I'm giving you the chance to get to know another African country from my lens. All I need from you is your support. Don't think that someone is paying me like it seems like everywhere I go to, I get paid. Because when I went to Nigeria, they said I got paid. When I came to South Africa, they are saying I got paid. When I went to Rwanda, they said I got paid. Like, no one is giving me a penny. I don't know. No African government is sponsoring what I do. No tourism sector in Africa is supporting what I do. It's like I'm alone. But I'm not ready to give up on this. That's what I'm telling you. I wish you out there would support this movement to make it a successful one. I'm not saying support us with money, you can support us with your house, you can support us with your car, you can support us with food, you can support, like, you, you have no idea what it takes to even bring out a video. I mean, you can ask Elvis and Trudy and the rest. We go through a lot, like, I don't even have to complain, but hey, I want to tell you that I love you, adore you. Don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, and also, 
don't forget to go follow your boy mr ghana baby on instagram i am maya i love you all peace out